another example of re reconstitution of solutions. And so we got a uh, physician has ordered 2 million units of penicillin by IM injection, intramuscular injection. In stock, we've got a vial containing 5 million units of penicillin. And on the side, it has directions for the reconstitution. And it tells us if we add 18.2 milliliters of diluent, um, the concentration will be 250,000 units per milliliter. If we add 8.2 milliliters of diluent, the concentration will be 500,000 units per milliliter. And if we add 3.2 milliliters of diluent, the concentration will be 1 million units per milliliter. And so the problem comes in where we have to decide which one of these to use. And if it didn't matter how much, uh, how many milliliters we were injecting, right, it pro probably wouldn't matter very much which one we, we would use. Uh, but the, the constraint is uh, three milliliters is the maximum volume an adult should be given when receiving an IM injection in a large muscle. So based on that, we have to decide wh how we're going to dilute this, um, this vial of penicillin. So to, to do that, all we have to do is figure out for each one of these concentrations, how many milliliters would we be administering? So we just have to do the dosage calculation for each one of these and then decide which one is less than our three milliliters. So to do the dosage calculation, we're going to do it just like we've been doing for this whole chapter. We're going to take the dosage amount, which is our two million units. Lots of zeros to write. Don't forget any of them. Uh, changes the number. So 200,000 units, and we, now we're going to multiply by our conversion factor, and so by our, our dose on hand, right? We have 250,000 units per milliliter, and we have to decide which goes on the top and what goes on the bottom. Well, I should end up with milliliters, right? So that's what's going to go on my top, and I want the units to cancel out, so I'm going to put 250,000 units in the bottom. And then the units cancel just like I want, and I do 2 million divided by 250,000, which gives me 8. And sure enough, I have my milliliters left just like I want. So 8 milliliters is what you would administer of the first, um, re re first solution, right, with the 18.2 milliliters. So let's figure out what we would, and that's just, right, that's too much. So that one's all out right away. So now let's go to the middle one, um, the 8.2 milliliters of diluent being added, the second concentration. So again, still the same dose. The only difference here is, right, we're going to multiply by the different um, concentration we have in our, our serum, so the different conversion factor, I guess you could call it. So again, we're going to put milliliters on the top. We're just going to change the bottom, 500,000, for our new solution that's more concentrated. Oops, that should be units, not milliliters. Units. Sorry about that. So again, the units cancel, and we do 2 million divided by 500,000. You should get 4, and milliliters still left hanging out. So four milliliters, is four milliliters still too much? You bet. So we go to the last one, play the same game, or two million units is what's been ordered, and we're multiplying by the concentration we have, which is one milliliter per one million units. Our units are gonna cancel out again and 2 million divided by 1 million is 2, so 2 milliliters. And so that's the one we would choose because 2 milliliters is less than our 3 milliliter maximum. And so we would follow the directions for the most concentrated version for the instructions on the label.